a new analysis suggests evolution is not as neutral and random as many textbooks still claim. Here is what happened and why it matters. On December 25, 2025, University of Michigan researchers reported evidence that beneficial mutations are far more common than classic neutral theory assumes. Using massive mutational datasets from yeast and E. coli, Siliang Song, Jianji Zhang, and colleagues tracked how thousands of DNA changes affect fitness across shifting environments. They found that helpful mutations arise frequently, but changing conditions often strip away their advantage or turn them harmful before they can spread through a population. From a distance, that pattern looks like evolution driven by mostly neutral drift, even though selection was acting strongly at each step. The team describes this as adaptive tracking where genomes constantly chase moving environmental targets. Their paper in Nature Ecology and Evolution argues that few populations are ever perfectly adapted because environments shift faster than genomes can fully catch up. That view could improve models of how pathogens evolve, how antibiotic resistance emerges, and how species respond to rapid climate and habitat change. Science Daily and several aggregators highlighted the study among the day's top evolution stories, signaling broad interest in this conceptual shakeup. To me, this work makes evolution feel more dynamic and contingent than the older neutral drift picture. It also warns that predicting pathogen evolution will demand models that explicitly track changing environments, not just mutation rates, 